Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel, Creative Grandma. It's yarn swatch time and this episode is all about the Lion Brand Wool Ease Fair Isle yarn. So let me tell you a little bit about this yarn and then we'll discuss the results I got with my crocheted samples. If you've ever wanted to make a Fair Isle project and felt too intimidated to try, you're going to love this yarn. Lion Brand is excited to introduce the Wool Ease Fair Isle. Its unique dye pattern mimics the look of Fair Isle without the hassle of multiple balls of yarn or counting stitches. As a member of the beloved Wool Ease family, it has the feel, warmth, and softness of wool with the easy care of acrylic. So this is classified as a number four medium weight yarn. It comes in a 5.3 ounce, 150 grams, 348 yards, 318 meters. It is 80% acrylic, 20% wool. It's machine wash, gentle, tumble dry low. It's made in Turkey and we love yarns that you can machine wash and dry. Now, I wanted to talk a little bit about the yarn because this yarn, in my opinion, is mostly geared towards knitters. Now, I have worked up crocheted samples to show you how this yarn is going to look if you crochet it up. Now, this sample looks knit, but this is actually crocheted. This is the Tunisian knit stitch. I made this sample with the size L Tunisian crochet hook, and my hook's a little bit long for this project, but I wanted the larger size L. And this way, I did get some of the Fair Isle look to the pattern. So if you work it like a scarf, this is what it's going to look like if you crochet the Tunisian knit stitch, which is a very fun way to do your pattern. Now with this sample, this is about the closest I could get to any Fair Isle type of pattern with this yarn. So let me show you that sample again. I started with this deeper pink and white, and then it went to the solid, and then it went to another solid that was lighter. And then you went into that larger section with the pink and white, and then it repeated this color so it's kind of like the colors match on this side with this color and then if you look at the next sample and then if you go farther up you're going to see it's going to go to the dark you're going to work the dark with the white and then you're going to go back to the dark and then you're going to see i'm going back to this lighter pink and then it's going to repeat this section here so it's pretty, but it's not quite the Fair Isle look. And again, some of these yarns are specifically made for knitters. So us crocheters sometimes cannot get that same look. So let me show you my other crocheted samples. Now there is 12 colors available, and I have five of the colors here to show you today. So let me show you the next colorway. So the next colorway is color number 209BE, and this is Thistle Orchid, beautiful shades of purple. Now this sample I made a little bit wider, and you can see I started with the light purple with white, and then you can see that the stripes are a little bit narrower because my sample is wider, and then I went to the dark, and then again it created the dark purple with the white section and then it goes to the dark purple and then it went to the light purple and then it's going to repeat with the light purple and white and then it's going to end with this so it's going to mimic the other sample i showed you whereas every time you do a section with this color you're going to have that same color on the outside so the light purple will have the light solid purple on each end of the section and then when you do the purple section it's going to have the darker purple on each section and then it's going to repeat light purple with the light purple multi-section and then the light purple and then it's going to reverse and do this section now I am seeing a pattern with this yarn for crocheting. You're not getting the Fair Isle look, but you are getting a really unique look to where I'm seeing the pattern of where you're getting the multi-color and you get the matching color on each end 
as in this section here where you have the multicolor in the center and then you have the darker colors on the outside and then it's going to go back to the lighter color with the lighter purple and then the light purple and it's, it just creates a really pretty look depending on what you're making. So that is my second sample and that was made using color number 209BE Thistle Orchid. The next colorway I have to show you is color light aqua turquoise, color 207BO, beautiful colors of blue and turquoise. And I decided to make a granny square because everyone has different things they like to make. So this is what it looked like if you wanted to make a granny square. Now, I did not color control this, so it does make the granny square look a little off-center because of the color changes. It brings this green out and makes it distort a little bit, but it's all in what you like to make. If you like to make a granny style afghan, this is what it would look like. And then remember, the larger your granny squares get, then the more of that color you may have more than one color on each side of the granny square. You may like that type of look, or you may want to color control it. Now, the only problem with trying to color control a yarn like this is that this here color, this turquoise, you can see that it almost went around once, but it didn't come over all the way, and this is up in the next row. It's too short of a length of color. When your projects get larger, you can see here that the blue went around. It started here, it went around, but it ended here. So it does make it look a little distorted. Now, if you keep working the pattern, then you may end up with more than one color on each side of your square, depending on how big. If you make a giant granny square afghan, then what's going to happen is you're going to end up with more than one color on each side of the square. But if you like these colors and you don't care about how they look, you just like the look of the colorway, you may enjoy making a granny square out of this yarn. So that is my third sample. And again, that was color 207BO. And when you're looking on the label, you're seeing these beautiful Fair Isle patterns. And I have to say, I was not able to create any of these patterns using crochet stitches. Now, there may be a crochet stitch out there that I haven't tried yet. I'm just not getting that effect with the crochet stitches I'm trying here today. The next color I have to show you is green and tan. This is called Beige and Olive, color 205CE, and I'm getting the same results. So this is a single crochet version, and I thought, well, I'll see if a single crochet version gives me the look I want. Again, I'm getting that same results with like a multi-color. And you can see right here is a section that I can see the difference right here. So if you're knitting, you will get a different design right here. So you're going to have this, and then there's a section here that I can really notice. Hopefully you can too. And then the multi-color. And then you're going to see that dark green that matches this multi right on the end. And then it's going to switch to the beige. And you're going to have the beige, the multicolor, the beige. And then it's going to switch back to that darker green with the green in here. And again, I can really notice this right here. Right in the center section, there's a strip that looks a little bit different. And then you're going to see the darker green on the other side. And it just keeps forming that pattern. When you get done with this section, then you're going to end up doing this section again. And you can see how that pattern is forming the green, the solid, the solid beige, the beige multi, the beige, then you go to the green. So that is what it looks like when you use a single crochet stitch. And again, that was color beige olive, color 205CE. The last colorway I have to show you is this gorgeous gold, gray, and white. Really pretty. This is color Golden Taupe. It's color 212AM. And what I decided to do, I wanted to see how it would look if I did an afghan. 
So I don't remember how many I chained. I think I chained a hundred and something. Now this sample's about 32 inches across. And I did the moss stitch where you single crochet, chain one, single crochet. And I thought this come out really pretty. I was so happy with this. And what I was thinking when I seen this one is wouldn't this be pretty to buy this and do this as the start of an afghan and then choose a solid color of the wool ease and make the center section one of these colors and then use this on the opposite end of the afghan and it would almost create a border on the top and bottom of the afghan i just thought this colorway come out really pretty now you have to remember this is 30 some inches so if you made it a little bit wider maybe 40 inches or 45 inches then these would be just a little bit narrower you would not have it this wide the more stitches you do then this would be smaller row wise but i just thought that was really pretty I love these colors together, and I'm not like a gray taupey type person, but when I seen this, I really liked it. And I know it has no resemblance to a Fair Isle look, but I just thought it was pretty. And, and again, I can see this using this as like a decorative border and then maybe doing a section this wide in a solid color, then doing this again, solid color, all kinds of possibilities when you're looking at these samples. Now, even though I feel this yarn is geared more towards knitters, I feel that if you're really creative, you can make some beautiful crocheted projects with this yarn. So that was the last sample I had to show you today. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this purple sample here and I'm going to measure it and then I'm going to throw it in the washer and dryer and see my results and see if it shrunk. So this sample measures about 12 and a half inches wide by 15 inches long. So I'm going to go throw it in the washer and dryer and I'll be back and we'll take a close look. Let's look at it. Let's see if it's fuzzy or not. This is what it looks like before I washed it. And then I'm going to wash it and I'll be back. We'll measure it and we'll see if it shrunk and if it got fuzz balls. So I just took my sample out of the dryer and I followed the instructions on the label. I machine washed gentle cycle, but I did use warm water and I dried on low heat. So when I look at the actual shaping of my sample, it seemed to come out pretty good, the shaping. I don't see any distortions on my sample. So let's go ahead and see if it shrunk. So the sample originally measured 12 and a half inches and now it measures 12 and a half inches. And let's see how long it is. And it measures 15 inches long. So it did not shrink at all. So let's go ahead and hold it up to the camera, see if there's any fuzzing. It looks almost the same to me. I don't really see any additional fuzziness on it. I'm trying to get it really close to the camera. I see... I don't really see any over here. Let's look on the bottom. I'm trying to look at the edges because that's usually where you see when it starts to fuzz up. Now I did use fabric softener on my sample. It feels really nice. So overall I'm very happy with the washing dry test. It did not shrink. I don't see any fuzziness on this. Now over time it may. I only washed and dried this one time. But overall it kept its shape and I'm very happy with the results. Now I do want to let everybody know that Lion Brand is having a sale this weekend where you can get 30% off their yarns and kits. And the offer ends on August 14th at 9 a.m. And the offer excludes AR Workshop, Silk City Fibers, Yarn Minis, and Clearance Yarns. And no code is necessary. Now the sale already started. So this skein of yarn, the regular price is $9.99. But if you get it over the weekend, you get 30% off 
and it's only $7 a skein. So if you wanted to try it, this is the perfect time to get 30% off a skein of yarn. So on another note, I just want to bring it to your attention about the Schitt's Creek yarn at Lion Brand. This yarn is no longer going to be renewed by Lion Brand, and it's 40% off. This is an excellent yarn. This comes in a 7 ounce, 200 gram, 372 yard, 340 meters. It's machine wash, gentle, tumble dry. It's 100% acrylic. It's a number four medium weight yarn and it's 40% off. Now this yarn is usually $9.99 and it's on clearance for only $5.99. So 40% off is a huge savings on this yarn. This is a wonderful yarn to use and I just had to mention it at 40% off. So once this yarn is gone, it's going to be gone. I just felt this was worth mentioning because 40% off is such a fantastic savings for such a nice yarn. And they have many colors available yet, but don't wait too long because when this yarn is gone, it's going to be gone. So these are the five different colorways that I showed you today. I hope this video has been helpful so you can see how this yarn looks like when you work it up in different crochet style stitches. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the crochet fun here on Creative Grandma's channel. Now I'll have links to the Wool Ease yarn and I'll also put a link that will take you directly to the clearance yarn for the Schitt's Creek yarn where you can get a fantastic value on that yarn. That way all you have to do is click the link, you'll go directly to the page and you can view all the colors they have available. Let me know which one was your favorite sample in this video. Thank you everybody for stopping by and until next time, stay inspired and happy crocheting.